All right, next question. Given the Gibraltar fiasco, these vaccines don't work. Can we envision a realistic scenario where establishment Dems concede the vax failure? So neither you nor I were familiar with the Gibraltar fiasco, but you pulled up uh, a thing that um, I thought there were two par paragraphs in there that warranted reading. All right. Yep. You have to hand it to me. Oh, I thought you had it there on your phone. No, machine. you never shared it with me. It's on your phone. Oh my God. It's on my phone. It <laughs> really puts the pressure on. Uh, yeah, I'm a little surprised that neither of us had heard of the Gibraltar fiasco. But um, so you found, Brett found this. This is on RT, you said, right? Yep. Gibraltar, a tiny British overseas territory sharing a land border with Spain, has seen an average of 56 COVID-19 cases per day over the last seven days, up from fewer than 10 per day in September. The rise in cases, described by the government as exponential, comes despite Gibraltar having the highest vaccination rate in the world. Point of order, um, the rise in cases either is or is not exponential. The description of the government has nothing to do with whether it is. I will continue quoting now. I get off my little soapbox. More than 118% of Gibraltar's population are fully vaccinated. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mm. Second paragraph. More than 118% of Gibraltar's population are fully vaccinated against COVID-19. That's a lot. With this figure stretching beyond 100% due to doses given to Spaniards who cross the border to work or visit the territory every day. Masks are still required in shops and on public transport. Um, so they've got over 100%. <laughs> Over 100% compliance somehow. That's that's some interesting math. Um, but uh, the rate of daily doses is five five times what it was um, before. Right. So that's the, given the Gibraltar fiasco, that's the that's the background on that question. These vaccines don't work. Can we envision a realis realistic scenario where establishment Dems concede the vax failure? It is almost impossible to imagine the concession. It is not yeah. impossible to imagine the recognition on the public's part. Mm -hmm. So I would just say, you know, we are here. With Absent concession, though, if, if the public, sorry, but if the public starts to wake up, maybe because they refuse to take boosters or whatever, how will the Dems, what will they do in the next election? Uh, well, now you've asked the question, what will the Dems do in the next election? That's a question no matter what. True. Um, for so many reasons. But um, look, I don't think these people have a game plan. I do think they're going to keep, you know, will they admit that these vaccines um, don't work? I find that very unlikely. Mm -hmm. Will they? It's probably too late to pin them on Trump, even though they were developed entirely under the Trump presidency. No, they're, they're going to pin the failure of the vaccines on the unvaccinated, an amazing fact in and of itself. Um, and they will pivot to some other policy. It will be unclear. It will continue to be unclear what their objective is, mm -hmm. right? In fact, that absolutely maddening article from the Wall Street Journal um, makes the amazing claim that part of the problem with the vaccines is that the people who released them uh, botched the communication and they led people to think that the purpose of the vaccines was to control the pandemic rather than to revert to reduce extreme reactions to COVID, right? Um, <laughs> Sorry. So I haven't read this article. Um, if that's true, if that were true, how can you have that position and the unvaccinated are causing this? And uh, you can't put those two things next to each other. And the mandates, because to the extent that their point is, oh, this is for reducing uh, hospitalizations, then the point is then this really is a question of personal choice. Right, the only argument yeah, for the if, mandates. If, if if that is actually an accurate description of you know, oh, this is we knew this all along. This is what it's actually. Yeah, well, it ain't then, an accurate. No, it, but but then then it's not a public health thing. Right, it's, it has nothing to do with public health. Right, this is this is the government trying to make sure that you have the best chance because you need this. Well, no thanks, government. I'm good. Would of course be a legitimate response in well, that case. I mean, think about it this way. This is the nanny state, and think about what a terrible nanny state it is because why the hell are we vaccinating children then that's what nannies do if it ain't about preventing transmission 
vaccinating kids who are healthy and don't have any risk from this disease doesn't make any sense. Well, so, I mean, that if, if you're quoting that article, right, if they've, if they've got some muckety-muck public health official saying, we always knew, Pfizer always knew, that, like the manufacturer, the vaccines always knew that it wasn't going to affect transmission, that actually well, changes everything. They didn't say that, but um, it, believe me, there's no way to square this circle. Right. And so yeah. your question um, about what what will the Democrats do if this start if the public response starts to be wait a minute. I, th I think the thing is it's an escalator of mendacity. And we are <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah. You just made that up? No, I wish I had. But escalator of mendacity. Yeah. I like that. Um, that the point like is they up. are going to keep lying, right? In order not to take responsibility for having massively screwed this up which they clearly have, no matter what you believe, you can see that they massively screwed it up, right? Yeah. This, this is not what we were promised and it isn't doing what they told us it would do. And Gibraltar is a very good demonstration of that, right? So, you know, we've had this problem where um, as the rate of vaccination goes up, the fraction of the people who get COVID who are vaccinated goes up. There is something ominous in that, but it's not inherently ominous because at the point right. that you get to 100% vaccinated population, then everybody who gets sure. a case will be a breakthrough. But what this does show is that that is not effective at controlling the disease, right? right. Which then yep. raises a question about everything they've done.